tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your first Flutter project. First, let us open our Visual Studio Code. Now in our Visual Studio Code, we are going to create an offline project. If you find other tutorials, you will see that it will teach you how to create Flutter project by going to View, selecting Command Palette, then selecting Flutter New Project, then click Application. Then it will ask you where to create your project. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an offline project. First, you click Terminal and then select New Terminal. Now, in our terminal, we are going to go to the desktop by using CD Desktop. As you can see, now we are in, the, in our desktop. C, users, name of the user, and the desktop. Now, what's the reason why we create an offline project? The very reason why we created an offline project is that if we don't have an internet connection, our project can still run. Because if we don't have an internet connection, our project will try to download the packages necessary for our project to run. But in this case, even if we don't have an internet connection, we can still run our project. So let's continue. After going to the desktop, we change our directory to desktop. We can now type this command flutter create dash dash offline and the name of our project. We will try to name our project as testing underscore app. Please remember that we don't have to use spaces here. So that is why we use an underscore. Again, the command flutter space create space dash dash offline space and the name of our folder. Now, Testing underscore app is the name of our Flutter project. Inside this folder are the files of our Flutter project. So after typing the command, we press enter. This will create an offline project to our desktop with the folder name testing app. Now, Let's open our project. As you can see, these are the files inside our testing out folder. When we create an offline project, Flutter will create our files in this folder. Then we can open our project inside our Visual Studio Code. Let's go back to our Visual Studio Code. Then we click Open Folder. We can click Open Folder here, click Open Folder here, or go to File and select Open Folder. We have opened now our project in Visual Studio Code. Now these are our files. Again, 
If we create an offline project, we can still run our project even without an internet connection. So let's run our offline project either in our emulator, in browser, or directly to your phone. How to run our project in a browser? As you can see here, in order to run our project in a browser, in this area here, you can see that we have three devices connected. We have Windows selected. But if we wish to run our program to our browser, you click this one here. And you select Chrome. So Chrome now is selected here. Whenever we run our project, it will run on our Chrome. Next is we are going to run our project to Chrome by going to the Run and then selecting Start Debugging. Or you can simply press on your keyboard F5. Then if you're asked, you can select Dart and Flutter. As you can see, our program is now run in our Chrome browser. This is our first project. As you can see here, we can stop the running of our project. You can have here restart. And the next one is hot reload. Now, hot reload, whenever we make changes to our code, this button here is automatically triggered, which means if we change our code, it would automatically reflect here. If it doesn't reflect, you can press this button here, which is for hot restart. Now let's go to our code. Where to find our code is you go to the folders here in our explorer, you click the lib folder or the lib folder, and you can see the main.dart file. So let's change some things here. Like for example, Flutter demo homepage, change it to Flutter sample project. Then we can press on our keyboard Control S or to click this one here, Hot Reload. As you can see, it automatically reflects to our project the changes that we've made. If we want to change this color here, Deep Purple to blue then we press on our keyboard control s automatically it's changed here let's try to change deep or range then control s so it's reflected in our browser. So you don't have to run your project every time you make changes on your codes. It will directly be shown on your browser.
In our next video, we will try to make an application from the scratch. We will remove all the codes here to make our own application. That's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one.